This illustration deals with exit enclosures, uh, so to speak, uh, stair uh, uh, towers, uh, in accordance with uh, NEC 300.25 uh, in the informational note. Now, the purpose of change, a new section was added, and it was added to clarify that only electrical wiring methods serving equipment permitted by the authority having jurisdiction, AHJ, in the exit enclosure shall be installed within the exit enclosure where, say, an exit enclosure is required to be separated from the building. Now, NFPA 101, the 2018 edition, if we reviewed section 7.1.3.2.1, item number 10, B is in boy, little boy, uh, little B, excuse me, prohibits installing conduits in a separately exit enclosure, uh, stair tower, they call it, unless the conductors are associated with the exit enclosure. The type of, uh, that prohibits uh, belonging in the National Electrical Code are not buried in the uh, Electrical Safety Code, where electrical designers, inspectors, installers are not aware of the prohibition of uh, 101. The mandatory text uh, in NFPA 101 is 7.1. Uh, point 0.3, uh, point 0.2, point 0.1, item 10, little b, states conduit. But the explanatory text in the Annex A uh, 7.1.3.2.1, uh, 10, item B, states that preparations for electrical wiring are permitted where the wiring system's equipment uh, is permitted by the authority, authority having jurisdiction to be located within the exit enclosure, such as security systems, uh, public address systems, and fire department emer emergency communication devices, uh, and so forth. Now, uh, let's kind of uh, review uh, the fine uh, print notes. But uh, first of all, notice the exit uh, sign there, and. Uh, title enclosure with a little bullet underneath 300.25 kind of identifies that. And then the note one has an arrow uh, pointing to that. And it says, when well, an exit enclosure is required uh, to be separated from the building, only electrical wiring methods, uh, uh, you know, uh, having equipment permitted by the authority uh, having jurisdiction in the exit enclosure shall be installed within the uh, exit enclosure. So uh, that, that's stated by the one, uh, note one. But note two says be sure uh, that you review NFPA 101, uh, 7.1.3.2.1, item 10, uh, little b, uh, if you want more information than what is listed in the NEC. And then, uh, of course, I would uh, remind you uh, where you have different temperatures, uh, you know, running conduit from inside to outside with it, where temperature could change drastically. Look at 300.7a, and you'll have your information necessary to uh, comply with that particular rule. So, uh, I think this kind of wraps up what is required uh, with this new uh, section that has been provided for you where you deal with this type of a system.